Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. This is going to be unit 16 for BTEC Level 3 IT. And this unit is called Cloud Storage and Collaboration Tools. Very nice unit, very easy, but still very, very pertinent, very important, very useful, because there is going to be no company that you go into as an IT person that does not make use of cloud in some way, shape, or form in 2023. So let's get started. The specification is going to be on the website. And as you can see at the bottom here, the website is live. It's runstechhub.com. There is some work that needs to be done, but in the meantime, there's going to be bits and pieces of stuff everywhere. So you will find a spec on there. The assignment brief will be on the website as well. The writing frame will also be on the website. So that Word document you see me writing in or you see me asking those questions on, that's going to also be on the website. And it's all for free. I don't need any money. I just need you guys to watch the video, like it, share it with your classmates, your friends, your students, whatever. And that's it. We're good to go. So this is a website here. Simply Google runs Tech Hub and it will take you straight to the website. If you Google it, this is the one that you will see. I actually haven't figured out how to change that icon from the WordPress icon yet. Someone, if you know, let me know, please. The writing frame. So the document I use with all the questions I ask, you and your teachers can always add more and you should add more. You should tailor it to what you're doing. What I think I have is a decent, a good starting point. It's not going to be completely comprehensive enough to um, do everything that you want to do, but it's a good starting point. The unit information. So again, it's unit 16. It's called cloud storage and collaboration tools. So we're going to learn about cloud. We're going to learn some interesting things. It's 60 guided learning hours. So this is roughly half of a full unit, I would say. Unit one was a full unit, unit two, unit 11, unit 14. Oh, unit 14. These are the 120 credit or the 120 guided learning hours unit, whereas unit 16, this one is a 60 guided learning hour unit. It's internal, which means that there is no exam. It is purely coursework based, but be very careful. Don't let this trick you examiners can randomly ask well not randomly they can ask for whatever units they want so if your teacher has it as a unit you're doing you could always expect that it could be asked for so that doesn't mean you should not do it as well as you can we have three learning aims learning aim a says explore the use of cloud technologies and tools in organizations that's learning aim a learning aim b says design and deploy a cloud-based collaboration service to meet a client's needs Learning AMC says manage and review a cloud-based collaboration service to meet a client's needs. So quite simply, this is going to be research. This is going to be the implementation. So the doing, we're going to be doing it here. And here's where we're going to have to review it again. Here are the points for Learning AMA. Explore the use of cloud technologies and tools in organizations. So these are all the points that we're going to have to cover to ensure that we get distinction level. So just like before, we have pass, we have merit. And we have distinction, just like in every other BTEC level three IT uh, course or unit, I'm going to be going for distinction. So everything I do is going to be tailored to distinction. I will obviously be doing the past stuff and the merit stuff as well. So if you are aiming for a P, only do the stuff that says P. So P1, P2, P3, for example. If you're aiming for an M, only do the stuff that says P and M. So if you do the M stuff, you should also cover the P stuff. I think everyone should aim for a distinction because this is a relatively easy unit. It's going to be research and then using some cloud storage thing to do what the client wants. And that's it. Quite straightforward in my opinion. So everyone should aim for a distinction. Learning aim B and C are combined. So that's why I put them both here on the same page. And again, these are all the things that we're going to have to do. I'm not going to read through every single thing here. So you guys are expected to pause the video, have a look at it. The, the spec is going to be on the website. The assignment brief is going to be on the website and the writing frame is going to be on the website. So go have a look at the points I have over there as well. So again, I've mentioned this is only an assignment. I will only go over the assignment. I will not do the teaching part. If something comes up that needs me to explain it, like I've always done in my previous videos, I will 100% explain it, but I won't be teaching the content from scratch like I did for unit one and unit two. I'll be just doing purely the assignment. And as I mentioned, I will be providing a writing frame for you at the end. So this is typically how I like to set my stuff up. So learning AMA document setup, right? This is not a part of learning AMA. This is just something I think I should do at the start of every assignment. We're going to do a walkthrough of the assignment. I'm going to do what should be on the main page of the assignment. So the front page, let's say the title, the headings. I'm going to do the content. I'm going to also do references. Something I left off the list here, which I 100% think every single person in college who wants to go to uni and go to work needs to get used to, 
is what's called styles. It's going to take me a while to write this. Styles and formatting. And what styles and formatting is, it's simply a way to lay out your document logically so it's easy to follow and it's also going to have shortcuts. I will give you an example when I get to that section. Ron's Tech Hub website, it is still under construction. Please don't go there and start criticizing me. It is not finished, right? But there is a lot of free resources there at the moment. Let's see if I can quickly go there, actually. So I do runstechhub.com. This is what it looks like now. I have a few college courses here. I've got A-level computing, not ready yet. T-level resources. Click on this image and it will take you to the T-level resources website. BTEC level three IT. And here I've got free IT resources. So click on that to get the free IT resources. Click on that. It's going to take you through. I have not completed anything yet for unit 16 other than the stuff that's already present. So for example, I have the specification here. You can click on that and you can view the BTEC level three IT spec for unit 16. It gives you every single thing you need to know. This is what I'm going to be using to do the assignment. So I'm not going to be pulling any information out of my head. I'm going to be doing exactly what the assignment wants. And this tells you everything that this unit needs. Beyond that, I've got the, the intro PowerPoint. So the PowerPoint I just went through, I PDF'd it. I turned it into a PDF and I've uploaded it onto the website. So feel free to run through that when you're ready. On top of that, I have uh, the assignment brief. This is also a PDF. This is the assignment brief I'm going to be using. I'm not going to be changing anything. I'm going to be following exactly the basic Pearson one that was given to me. It's just easier to work that way. Now, your teacher can change stuff. For example, there is a scenario here that the teacher can change. And because of the change in scenario, they can either give you more stuff in the task or less stuff in the task. But I'm going to leave mine exactly how it is because most people tend to just leave it as it is. And the very last thing I have here is the assignment writing frame. This is not ready yet. This is what I'm going to be working on. So as soon as I've finished it, you guys will have access to it. But before I go any further, let me quickly explain what styles and formatting is or why is it important. So this document has been laid out properly. Okay, so imagine this is your assignment. You have, let's say, 100 pages and your teacher wants to just see the new updates that you've made. They would have to typically scroll through the entire document to go and find what they want. The way this works, styles and formatting works, and the, way, the reason why we should use styles and formatting and headings and all of that, you can simply click on the label on the left-hand side here and it will take you directly to where that thing is. So for example, let's say I wanted to skip all of this stuff at the top and go straight to M2, justify planning and implementation decisions, blah, blah, blah. blah. I'm going to click on that and it takes me straight to that section in the document. Now let's say I'm all the way down here and I want to go back to the very top, but I don't want to scroll. I don't want to use my mouse and drag it all the way up. I can just say, hmm, I want to go back and read M1. Let's double check M1 to see if everything is there, right? So I simply click on where it says M1, compare the impact, and it takes me straight there. This is how you're going to have to do stuff in university. This and adding references is a must for most courses because this is how you have to write professional technical documents when you're sending it out in a company. So please, please, please get used to this. I will mention this again before I start the assignment because most people might not get to this section of the video and that's perfectly understandable. And finally, this is the main BTEC website. So I'm going to put this link in the description as well. Simply go there for all the free stuff. But all the stuff that's on here, I've literally copied it and put it onto my website. So none of the stuff I've shown you, the spec, the only thing that is mine is the writing frame. But for example, the specification is not mine. Uh, the cloud intro is mine, but it's based on the spec and based on the assignment brief. So these two things here are very important. So that's the specification and the assignment brief. I got those directly from the BTEC website. Those are not mine. So please go there and grab them if you want to. Or if you don't want to grab them from my website, you can grab them from there. Thank you for watching. Good luck.